Welcome everybody, this is video number 92. This is going to be Phases of the Moon Part 1. Alright, so let's talk about moon phases. Uh, remember we talked an awful lot about how the moon has a synchronized orbit with Earth. Remember that just means you see the same side all the time. What's the total time of uh, the moon's rotation? Well, it's 27.3 days. So about a month, give or take. And there's two forces that come into play with this, and this is inertia and gravity. So I hope you guys remember back to sixth grade. So let's talk about inertia and gravity. And if you would for me, please uh, draw this diagram. So inertia and gravity combine to keep the Earth around the sun, and it also combines to keep the moon around the Earth. Inertia, as you know, remember, object in motion stays in motion, uh, means to go forward. So that's the blue line you see here. And it's gravity that keeps it in orbit. So with those two forces, that's how you keep everything in our solar system revolving around each other. And remember what I told you in astronomy, bigger is better. So the bigger you are, uh, the more gravity that you have. So let's talk about motions of the moon. Well, they position the positions of the moon change, right, relative to each other. So the sun, earth, and moon were all in motion. So so what were the results of these positions? So as you change the sun, earth, and moon, what are you going to get? Well, you're going to get different phases of the moon. So when you and I look up in the night sky, you will see actually different parts of the moon that are lit. You're going to get eclipses. And we talked about that in the last video, especially when they all line up, right? Remember sun, earth, moon, or sun, moon, earth. And then you're also going to get the tides on earth. And that'll be the next video that I talk to you guys about. So let's talk about the moon and light, and I find this is a big mix misconception with my students. The moon does not produce its own light. The only thing that produces light in our solar system is the sun, okay? So the moon can only reflect the sun's light, and it totally has to do with its position relative to each other. So let's talk about the phases, and I actually like this diagram. I find some of the diagrams of the phases of the moon can be uh, very misleading and very hard. Uh, so phases refers to the shape that you see. Uh, one complete revolution around Earth will complete all of the phases. And all the ones that you see here are uh, really, really well drawn. And remember, you're focusing on the white, not the dark. A lot of people will flip those. So what causes the phases of the moon? Well, it causes by the change of positions, like we said earlier, of the sun, moon, and Earth. So the phase what you see depends completely on how much of the sunlit side faces Earth. So if you haven't drawn yourself a diagram yet of these, I would absolutely do that. Here they are in order for you if you just want a quick list. And I've got a great song for you, so hang tight. I see it hanging all around in the sky above and I'm like the moon. I guess the change in the phases that song. All right, so summary time. What are the two forces that combine to keep objects in orbit in our solar system? Create a diagram that shows these two forces at work that, and let's use our moon and earth. What causes the faces of the moon? And define the word face. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in class.